A tube of lipstick plus a tall black drag queen in a red leather corset equals a successful $330 million fundraising initiative that is still ongoing. When we introduced the MAC AIDS Fund and its Viva Glam campaign, it was at a time when most people still thought of AIDS as a gay man's disease. We wanted to educate the public about AIDS and eliminate the shadows in which people living with the disease were forced to hide. We wanted communities to be supportive and for people to be included, not excluded. So we did a few things. Firstly, we created a dedicated product. We made it a lipstick because lipsticks were our best sellers and we wanted this product to sell. Viva Glam was the lipstick we created and dedicated 100% of the retail selling price to organizations supported, supporting people affected by AIDS. Secondly, we used our retail counters, an existing infrastructure that would help us facilitate distribution of a lipstick, and our retail partners who we talked into giving up any profit on the sale of Viva Glam lipstick. And finally, one of the most empowering pieces is that we leveraged our existing retail counter staff to research, visit, and tell us about AIDS organizations in their communities. We knew the success of Viva Glam was dependent on the engagement of our staff. They became advocates in the fight against AIDS wherever Viva Glam lipstick was sold. They weren't trying to sell a lipstick, they were rallying customers to a cause. Fast forward a few years, we sold MAC, created the Toscan Casale Foundation, and we're trying to figure out what to do next. We felt the traditional approach of processing applications and check signing just didn't feel right for us. We knew there were so many small grassroots charities out there doing great work at the local level. But how could we find out about them? How would we know the needs of organizations in communities across the country that we didn't live in? We needed people, people on the ground, people in communities that we could engage. Unlike with the MAC AIDS Fund, we didn't have a staff, we didn't have an infrastructure, and we didn't have a product. But we knew that this was a combination that worked and we wanted to do it again. We started with the people. Where do we find people that are passionate, enthusiastic, open-minded, full of potential, with the willingness to learn and the ability to engage in their communities? The answer was young people, youth. They could be advocates for issues important to them in their communities. They could be our eyes and ears on the ground across this country and others. They could tell us what the needs in their communities are. The next step was finding the right infrastructure. We needed to determine how we could engage and mobilize young people in an organized, responsible, and efficient way. The most unifying infrastructure for young people is schools. Schools are the heart of every community and at the front line of many local social issues. Thus, YPI was born. YPI, our Youth and Philanthropy Initiative, is basically a philanthropy co-op run in secondary schools. Just like co-op students gain experience out in the real world, so too do YPI students. A school that runs YPI runs it across an entire grade level as a 16-hour project-based curriculum. Students identify an issue in their community and then make a site visit to a charity that is working to address that issue. They present to their classmates on the charity they've selected and advocate for why that specific charity is deserving of a grant. The most compelling presentation at each school receives a $5,000 grant for their chosen charity. YPI exists to grant money to charities that need it, but along the way it creates advocacy for social issues and it allows young people to develop skills and use talents in ways that the standard school curriculum doesn't allow for. In the same way that Mac tapped into a certain vibe, so do the young people involved in YPI. They have a real hunger to want to make a difference and they deserve the opportunity to discover early on where their values may take them and how they can impact the lives of others. We just kicked off YPI's 12th year. We now work with over 300 schools across Canada, New York City, and the UK. Over 300,000 students have taken YPI 
Uh, they've prepared and delivered over 50,000 pitches on local social service organizations, and because of them, over $10 million has been granted to thousands of community-based charities. We found a formula that puts relevant grants into the hands of charities that address immediate social needs. Every decision made through YPI stays in the community. Keeping the program at the front line ensures that it is always current and that our grants are always relevant. We leverage every single dollar to produce maximum impact with maximum efficiency. We do it by bringing a high value product to an existing infrastructure of people and organizations. We work together with students, teachers, charities, and our partners to pull apart stigmas while pulling together our communities. Thank you.